Hi everyone, my name is Lisa Fioran. I'm a life coach and hypnotherapist. I specialize in mindset positive psychology and I'm going to be sharing with you now um, a short video uh, on meditation or how I meditate and hopefully as a good guide um, to anyone who is a beginner to meditation but wants to actually start. Um, I just to introduce meditation, I believe it's, a, it's one of the powerful tools that we have. You know, um, it's so important for us to be able to harness control over our mind, over our thoughts. You know, our thoughts create, have an impact on our emotions and our emotions have an impact on our physical body. Um, so, you know, uh, if we allow ourselves to overthink or be controlled by our thoughts, especially when they're negative thoughts, this has an impact on our emotions. It's going to bring us down. It's going to you know, create emotions of, it's going to um, it allow overthinking brings on feelings of anxiety, tension, stress, and it can even lead to depression and can create stress-related illness and conditions. So it's really, really important to be able to harness control over, over our minds and not allow our thoughts and our mind to control us, um, which, you know, uh, is, is sometimes easier said than done. And it's a practice, you know. Um, meditation the most part, most people find it difficult at the beginning because it's something that we have to train ourselves to do. You know, like going to the gym for the first time, if you were lifting, you know, um, you couldn't just go straight to lifting the heaviest weights, you know, you, you, it's a progression and it takes consistent training and building up and, and reinforcing what you, what you started. And our mind is the same thing, you know, it's about us moving our Tension from one part of our mind to the other. You know, we've, our mind is amazing. It's a supercomputer. Our brain is, um, and, and in some respects, it can be very powerful. You know, with our intuition, with our expansive thinking, our creativity. But in other parts as well, our brain wants to keep us safe. It wants to keep us comfortable. It wants to hold us back from anything that it thinks is going to endanger us. And so, in times like we are in right now, um, where we have a lot, lot of feelings of uncertainty and this fear of the unknown. Um, and a lot of fear-based um, media coverage and, and, you know, all this, we've been bombarded with so much information. It's really, really important to bring it back to who we are and what's important to us and connect to ourselves, you know, on that deeper level so we don't get pulled into this stream of, of fear-based thinking. Um, if we, we need to become, be at a point to be able to deliberately choose our thoughts in order to know that they build, they're the building blocks basically of our emotional well-being, you know, our emotional state of being and also our physical state. Um, and so deliberately choosing thoughts that make us feel, but that empower us, that uplift us, that strengthen us, really important. Um, but at the same time as well, freeing ourselves from thoughts and learning how to leverage our, ourselves away from thoughts and harnessing the control of thoughts is really important too. And meditation is a powerful practice to do that, to be able to find, to catch ourselves when we're thinking a thought and bring it back. You know, we're gonna have this constant stream of thoughts all the time. Our brain is a problem solver, it wants to solve things. And we're also trying to keep ourselves safe and preempt all the different things that are going on. And you know, we probably right now, most of us have got a million different thoughts going on at the same time. But we always, we do anyway, that, that's human, human nature, but we have much more of an awareness of these things and we're in this state of you know almost like a stress response state the fight flight response is, is going to be more increased at this time because of what's going on and it's really important to be able to you know um relax that part of our nervous system you know um and actually induce this state of relaxation and um promoting well-being as much as we can and so meditation even if you only do two minutes a day, it's two minutes of you setting the intention to not be controlled by your thoughts, but actually to be the controller of your thoughts. Because we are not our thoughts. We are the observer of our thoughts. Even if you just sit there and you intend to observe the thoughts going in and out of your mind for however long, that at least is you take, starting to take rein, you know, rein in control of your thoughts. Um, even if, you know, meditation is about just going within, like releasing, connecting to our breath, connecting to, feel, like feeling our way through things, not thinking our way through, you know, the practice. 
Um, and a good place to start would be doing five minutes a day. Once you start getting to the time when you do half an hour, um, 20 minutes or 30 minutes a day, you really start to notice the benefits of meditation. You know, um, it really, it's a stress reliever. It releases anxiety. It allows us to come back to what's important. It allows us to come back to our own agenda. It actually lowers blood pressure. It actually lowers your heart rate. Um, it allows the body to work at its, its maximum. It, it induces a sense of relaxation and well-being. It helps us sleep better. Um, it helps us function better. It helps us clear our mind so we can think more clearly. So it helps focus. It helps a lot of things. It helps concentration. Um, but more, most importantly, it allows us to just remain centered and calm. You know, and if we can uh, master our inner world and we, you know, we are able to deliberately choose the thoughts that we choose to think that we know help us you know, feel stronger, that, that helps more, be more positive reframe the situations that we're in you know and change our perspective to be more positive um to you know um not be pulled into the fear-based things if we choose then how how we respond to our emotions so if we feel ourselves getting into fear you know using the tools such as meditation or breath work or yoga whatever it might be exercise in order to be able to just move ourselves out of this fear state sad state scared state angry state whatever it is into a state of calm, into a state of just being, you know, just being within ourselves. Um, it's really, really important right now. And so I just want to share with you uh, meditation just to allow you to really connect to yourself deeply. Um, this is for beginners, you know, um, or for those of you that meditate every now and then, but you really want to get into practice of it. I actually think meditation should be part of our integral daily routine. Um, just as much as brushing your teeth, you know, it's, I think it should be integrated as a habit in, in our daily lives. And if we did do that, even if it was five minutes each day, we would feel a lot better within ourselves. Um, and so I, I believe this is a really powerful tool. However you use it, meditation, you could literally just be silent and listen to the birds outside. You could listen to music that you know allows you to just go into a relaxed state or a trance like state or you could just follow a guided meditation there are many different ways to meditate i will be sharing with you in a series of videos um different ways that you can do that i just think it's really important to actually introduce why you meditate before we actually start doing those and um, so this is just my introduction video first um, and i will lead you through a series of videos um, in meditation um, in my experience, I discovered mindfulness meditation um, back when I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia, um, which was about 16, 15 years ago, a long time ago. Um, yeah, uh, I, I was in excruciating pain. Um, and as part of a pain management program, I was actually taught mindfulness, which I thought was an absolute joke at the time um, because I couldn't sit still um, because I was always in pain and i couldn't switch off from it but actually in that in that um i think it was about a 15 minute guided mindfulness meditation i noticed um times when the pain wasn't i wasn't aware of the pain because i was obviously going into a different space of, of consciousness um and it amazed me so i i studied in, in in it more and i trained in meditation in in various forms um including working with cacao and meditation and cacao ceremonies with a, a chocolate shaman a shaman in Guatemala um, which is when we went into really deep states of meditation and we're able to go into areas of pain areas of discomfort areas of suppressed emotions and, and just really allowing the body to promote its own healing um, and just releasing a lot of a lot of things that we may be holding on to um, so there are many forms of, of meditation and I'm looking forward to actually sharing some with you um, and, and hopefully, yeah, you can start to create your own meditation practice. I would love to hear from some of you about how your practice goes. I'm gonna leave this video here, um, just to kind of leave it as an introduction. The next video I'll share will be a guidance on how to meditate. And then we'll do some different forms of meditation. So um, if you want to get in touch with me with any questions at any point in these video series, and get hold of me um, beneath in the comment box beneath the video. Um, this video will be posted in YouTube, it'll be posted in Facebook, and um, different social media platforms that I'm on. Um, but you can follow me uh, at Lisa 
at Lisa Through on Coaching on um, Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook. And Lisa Fear and Coaching is my, my YouTube channel. Um, so these videos will be all on the YouTube channel and you can follow me there.